Welcome to another Cup of Joe with, with Joe. Uh, today I thought I'd talk about something that's mostly opinion and not, not, not fact or physics, but uh, a lot of folks will say that most of my stuff has always been opinion and not on facts and, and physics. I thought I'd chat a little bit about um, industry trends and uh, it's kind of neat if you've been around a long time you've seemed to have lived through this these trends before and so I'm gonna be maybe a little a little catty and I understand that people will have different opinions but what the heck so I want to talk about manufactured housing at first yep factories are gonna win the day <laughs> I remember hearing this in the 1960s when my beloved Toronto Maple Leafs were winning Stanley Cups. Um, never happened. The Leafs never won Stanley Cups and manufactured housing, you know, yeah, it's interesting, but it, it doesn't dominate the market. Because if you build something real big in a factory, you have to move it. And moving things, you have limitations on the highway size-wise. So the size of your box is, is limited. Plus, you're shipping mostly air. What we want is to ship stuff that's dense. You're not shipping air, your air or shipping. You're, you're moving something that's very heavy, that's very dense. That is not a hollow structure with people. And then putting the boxes together, I mean, seems like it's easy, but man, you know, it's, it's never easy. And when you stack boxes on top of one another, you're doubling up the connections. So you've got two boxes coming together. Where they meet, you've got two walls. When you're stacking them on top of one another, you've got two floors. And, well, don't do the whole box. Then that's complicated. So it's not as efficient as people seem to think because you're shipping air and you're doubling up uh, where the boxes come together. Well, what about what about panels? You know, let me just stack the panels up. I like panels. I really do. But what you want are really, 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 really big panels so that you don't have a lot of connections. And the problem with all of the panels has always been about the connections. Also, most of these panels, folks want to have them insulated and be closed. Well, how do you run your services? You know, we managed to have snap connections for uh, power in, in, in automobiles and planes, but we're not allowed to do any of that in the field, in, in construction. Wouldn't it be nice to just simply hide the wires and hide the plumbing and just snap them together? And it's insane to try to run services. You know, I'd have to put them on the surface or you put them behind trim but it's not as easy as as people think but I think panels make sense what about having the factory on the site as opposed to moving it so you're only moving it from say the parking lot or the community center great idea now one of the nicest innovations that I've seen are where you actually build your roof on the ground right beside your building or your house and you lift the whole damn thing up with a crane on one piece bada bing bada but man that is that is a very clever way of doing this well i need to shelter you know i can't do it in the parking lot well you know create a temporary structure or build your community center first and don't have walls on one end and you can create your own little uh, panelization factory on site and i know a lot of builders did that uh, in the 1990s and I don't know why more of them don't do that today I thought that was a a very very good way and then, well what about robotics yeah we're gonna replace judgment and experience and workmanship with uh, with a robot no there's gonna have to be an adult somewhere are we gonna have more sophisticated tools Absolutely, but there's going to be have to be judgment involved. Anyway, so are we going to see more trends to, to
to, to boxes. I know in New York City, they're trying to build these 20, 30 story buildings and stack boxes on top of them. And I got news for you, it is not going very well, but it's all about the connections. Um, until we sort out the connections, um, there are legal issues involved with that. There are unionization issues involved with that. There's um, long-term performance issues and redundant redundancy involved with all of that. Um, it's not as easy as you, as you think. I believe that currently site building being done more efficiently with less materials and thinking about it more would, um, is still going to win the day at least until my Toronto La Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup again. But with that, hope to talk to you again.